I have actually figured out what's going on with the vassals. So, every time there's a succession, all vassals that are count or above get a choice to break away from the Khan. Especially the larger your empire is, the more likely they are to break away. So what we're doing right now, by creating more land for ourselves, and giving more land to our clans, this is actually the best way to keep it all together. So it would probably be better to turn something like this into a tributary. They're stuck. Would be that. And they're going to be a huge asset. But again, we're not going to be able to do it. For now, we'll stick to fighting against rebellions and trying to take their stuff. Let's send these to fight against these first, and then we go south here. But we do still need to find and defeat the Nepali. Let's go catch them. I'll leave one horde behind here to defend our lands that we've taken. And the others continue sieging various places. Retaking this stuff. You are Bulgar, you're somewhere over there. You're super teeny tiny. Mania broke apart. Alright, there are 7,000 Nepali troops. Which is fine by us. We can deal with it. We will be a uh, capital of arts and philosophy, why not? Stuff is still being built. We have gained most holdings up there. We have a siege leader ready. Let's pick the second siege leader here. Make sure our first one is here. These guys, just get this guy. I feel like we should send someone down here to reinforce. We will. And these will keep here. I don't think Nepal is going to come this way. Can't go for majesty. What was it that we wanted? Want more fortifications. We'll have to wait for this. Yes, yes, clans want more land. Let's see what land we have. We also want to try and not give away land where there are titles attached to that we are currently holding. Ideally. There's a bit of just two pieces here. Let's give that away. Your Purga. Council is all for it. There you go. 
taking all the rich lands for ourselves. Ah, there are the Nepalese. So we'll combine our troops and fight the Nepalese. They are at 30%. We'll combine our troops here. And these guys can take care of the revolt. Let's put in this... Yeah. Not sure where they are going. Another revolt pop up over there. Our home horde will take care of all that. And there goes a piece for this. And we've even gotten some pieces down here, which is neat. And these back there. Why is this neat? Because now we sit right in the middle of all of this. Having all sorts of reaches. Go places. Actually, I think I'm going to give this stuff away. Are we? Should we gain? Here. What is ours? All of this is ours. Oh, this is new. Look. I think we found our new capital. Once we've pillaged everything. Do you also have a silk road? Yes. There's a potential trading post here. We shall build it. And we will move our capital here. Could probably build more trading posts, honestly. I haven't really considered that much. But this will be our new capital, once we've pillaged everything. We'll want to keep stuff here, and this we give to our little clan friend. We don't need to hold it. And they might expand their realm from here. What is this? Yarkand? And Munda. Oh, one more land? Right. What could we give away? This is not ours to give away. I mean, we're pretty much giving up everything up here, but these are good. There's two vassals on this. Let's give this away first. 
This is something. Right. So, what can we write? Do multiple things, actually. Let's get some military organization going, and I'm not sure what we want to do here, so we will wait for the... ...for the thing to pop up. We'll keep close by, because I feel like Utsung might be facing a few more rebellions. Who are you fighting? Fighting some sort of host. This is our friendos stuff and he made them into vassals for whatever reason. Here. Oh yeah. We will personally reorganize the court. Good. You have such a high learning skill. Can. Alright. So there comes the host now. They have 7,000 troops. Turn these around a little bit. I'll switch over here. We have cavalry mainly, so raising our vassals won't do much for us. 7,000 is also not a lot. We'll be fine. Right, so this is built. So what do we need for camp fortifications? Camp fortifications goes for improved keeps level 4. Improved keeps level 4, it is. Because we definitely want this high. One day we'll have it up to six. You mark my words. Just securing our home against would-be invaders. Speaking of which, go on the no. Who goes in the center? Someone go in the center. This guy goes in the no. Go in the. Enter. This guy goes on the flank. And this guy goes on the flank. Well, boys, enjoy your little battle. I'm sure you packed a lot of lunches. We're well prepared for all of this, but... Uh, yeah. Doesn't look too great for you, does it? center leader here I'll just follow this horde around Like he has a choice but to go here. And there we fight them again. Fifty-nine percent. Let's just keep following.
That rebellion is done. Let's put these men over here. Good central situation for potential rebel uprisings. Oh, look! Invasion of Bihar on Nepal or Arkand. How far are you? Ah, uh, we noticed it too late. I mean, if we turned these around, might still be able to do it. Where are they going? Further. I mean, we can try. We're not losing anything if it goes away. We're going for go Bihar instead of Nepal. And we'll just send these guys over and see what happens. Ah. That was resolved, it looks like. And we overtook them. Forcing them to attack us in a very unfavorable position for their side. So what do we get? Nothing. I mean, they tried. Can't blame them for trying. He's here. Should we upgrade our horde a little bit? We have plenty of money. We have prestige. Let's upgrade our horde a little bit. Um, let's go real all out. Uh, a thousand of these. One, two, three, four. That's a thousand more horse archers ready for battle. Well, almost ready for battle. Ah, we're at peace, so now we can move our capital over here. Lahasa. Yeah. Move all our chancellors as well. Troops. Help with construction. Everyone else does whatever everyone else does. We have built a trading post. Let's upgrade that. Garrison size plus 300%. Trade value. Trade rod wealth. Upgrade that stuff. That should give us also new building option. On the side there. All good stuff. They're not far away yet. Might need to keep them in the back there. I think we're going to use our diplomat here to sow some dissent, get some factions going in the enemy realms. There's a strong vassal, but we don't mind. We don't care. You go sabotage the province here. Destroy some stuff. Uh, patron of the arts. Now the archers are starting to populate Lahasa. Yes, we will personally lead the construction efforts. 
We've lost our statue. Well, we didn't lose it. We just left it behind here. What happened? Do have troops sort of close by. Let's see if these guys are going to help for once. Fully upgrade the market first. back there tell them to go hunt there's only one thing to take anyway we're going there that rebellion there fighting free and stuff so I think this is a moment for our Little vassals here to do their thing. See if we arrive in time or if our vassals are doing things there. Let's upgrade this sword to 5000 as well. I feel that would be good. We have 15,000 at the end of the day. We're now building trade pools. Those should give us something. Oversized amends. How so? troops does he have much very good ooh that's pretty attractive honestly We are a patron of the arts, having spent years. So we get a build time minus 15%, technology spread rate plus 15%, which isn't that important to us. Poet opinion plus 10. Eh. Research culture attack is more effective. And we occasionally attract famous artists. So the build time is really what uh, gets us. That's the thing we're all about. Let's uh, 
also gives us some prestige. So I've gotten 48%. Now we need to find his army. Probably somewhere in this direction. Our allies are moving places, but... They surrender. Good stuff. Good stuff. Very good stuff. But you look at all that land we can distribute to our clans. Because it's not good anyway. Oh, this is the worst land of them all. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic stuff. Oh, yes. That was good. That was really good. Let's get these back here to take care of whatever rebellion is going to inevitably pop up. And yes, you want land. Serve land. Get all these lands. Yes. Yes. Get it, my friend. Nevada. We'll get you big and strong yet. Get Tavada. Chimgitura. Get Chimgitura. Uh, how much more? Three? I want to give this to someone I don't like. These guys. Can also use some. What's this? Bit put Lala. Have it, I don't want it. Get the beer. And one more, you get Vage. We still have two lands to give away, which aren't all that important to us. Firm, just when I grew up there. Uh, going on with this rebellion, why haven't we defeated them yet? I don't care. Are you a son? No, your nephew. You will screwed up. Will be screwed up by our very generous us. Who are you? Darlingov. And this guy. How is he not breaking apart? Like usually you have a whole bunch of uh, rebellions in something like this. Already got a truce because they're the same rebellion that we took all this stuff from. That one was really neat. So 
that we keep looking out for rebellions around him. And we need another 2,000 troops. So what should they be composed of? Let's get some heavy cavalry in there. This is 500. 1,000. And... Let's just do the same again. 500. And... Uh, Let's get more of these, 1,000. And these we will connect with these guys over there. So we have a nice 5,000 there and a nice 10,000 here. Alright, what can we build? And build a minter. Trade rod value goes up. Definitely going to do that. He sowed distrust between a mayor and the guy. The Guga is currently being hacked by these guys over here. Um, the big thing there. Are there defensive pacts against you? We can't join them because we are a little bit larger than those deserving of being in defensive pacts. How strong are we right now? Okay, all our clans combined have a little bit more than we have in troops. All mercenary post was built. Not in this trade post. Let's get this for more prestige. Our golden statues finished there. So let's upgrade it a little bit. Finish the opinion. I think local movement speed goes for everything in your realm and not just the county. So we'll build this. This trade post and get more mercenaries. A little bit harder to take out. These trade posts will still take a while before they become anything good or worthwhile. It was built here. Upgrade this further. That's a good thing. Look at the size of this thing! Crazy stuff. Just sowing distrust between mayors and this guy.
They're sabotaging, disrupting, all the good things. Alright, our 5,000 strong horde is done here. Let's go get ourselves some money. Oh no, we can't go there. We can go here though. Oh, we actually could go there. I was almost excited. Ooh, a rebellion. Nope. <clears throat> rebellion against us. Fine then. Oh! Look at that. Why are you against it? Enemy is too weak. Guess we need to replace a few people here. We need more pragmatists, less glory hounds. You are clearly a pragmatist. We'll be pragmatical. Untrained troops. Can we do it now? All the counselors get some gifts. How about that, huh? I like how cheap everyone is. Didn't help. Oh, come on, people. Okay, these say opponent is too strong, and these say enemy is too weak. Who do we have to put on this council? Get better opinions. People who love us, but no one loves us. Time to make some friends. Oh no, we're fighting rebellion. Shame. Can't do anything about this. Maybe now that we're no longer in a war. Yeah. Now they think different. Let's split them immediately. These will keep over here, just in case. You guys are not raiders. Good stuff. Another Minter has been built. Let's upgrade our horse archers for once. Right, top siege master goes here, bottom siege master goes here. Is that right? Yes. Top dude goes here. And everyone has a job leading something somewhere.
inventory trade offices are being built so then since they can't attack their lands given that we take basically all of it for you Let's be friends. How much land do you want? One. So we give this to our beloved clan friends here. We get Usha. Can try and take this, but we'll just turn around and take him then. fighting but that's great they have moved themselves right there and since we need to move this army back anyway that all comes into play nicely to have a good overview of everything these armies over there because he the enemy might very well have enough troops now pose a bit of a threat to us we'll send our spy down here get a good overview of potential troop movements We're walking through his troops now Thank you. That. There's a 15,000 army. They've imprisoned our spy master. Oh no. Let's send this guy, he hates us, so him being imprisoned wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Go sabotage Nepal. Always keep an eye on things. I think this is almost the furthest we can zoom out without losing track of things. trade post let's upgrade stuff upgrade it all Asa is not Asa need to build things let's see get more sheep we don't get a lot of nomad tax income oh it's actually our primary income Get what I said. I don't know why he's not coming for us. Should be. Plan one's more land. Sure. We still have something here to give. What is this called? Tura. She'll have it.
Right, let's check our kids. Our heir is this guy. Do we have someone better? Oh yeah. He's much better. Do you become a Yabgu? And he's returning a favor. So he gets out. Where's our non air son? Should be fairly young there. He becomes our advisor. Uh, minor titles, designated regent, will also be M. Ishad. Can we make him Ishad? I think it can be either Yabgu or Ishad, but not both. Let's make this some. Um, Guy like that. Can we make our son or tutor? No. So he will remain our heir until he is caught up in terms of prestige. Let's get him a wife. Let's see. Strong? No. Not worthwhile. D, also not worthwhile. At least he wouldn't lose anything, but she's too young. But we can give him some concubines. I'm sure we got something suitable. Oh yeah, her. We have anything else suitable? Our daughter? Ah. I got it. Let's give him this one as well. The revolt, where? There. Oh, there's another revolt. Invasion of Bihar. Sala, Bihar, probably. Let's get some vassals involved in here. And also bring these guys in. Honestly, let's bring these guys to this. And these guys down here. It's more important. Take care of the Nepalese revolt there. One was taken away anyway. We can send these down here as well. All right. Okay. 
Trade post of Lahasa can be built up a little bit higher. What do you need? Trade practice is four. We're a little bit far away from it, but okay. Dongar is what it's called. Let's try and stop killing this guy. Oh, we're running right into one of those rebellions we're trying to crush anyway. That's deeply fortunate. You guys need siege leader? Good stuff. So we took most of it, all of it, but most of it. These guys are going here. And these guys also going... Oh, they're going to go here. Our clans don't want even land right now. We will pillage everything. We don't want vassals. We just want stuff. So let's see if we can't get something out of the Nepalese revolt. We need to be careful because the Nepalese themselves have quite a few troops. Oh no, they actually don't. We don't need to be as careful as I figured we might need to be. And just set these guys down here. These guys will go there. And these guys will leave over here. Just in case. Oh, let's leave them here. It, just in case some rebellious rebellions flop up. So first we fight the Nepalese. Taking away the opportunity to deal with the rebellion. And then we fight the rebels. To take all the war score from it. Sounds like great, good adventure to us. Oh, we overtake a nice little siege, so we'll finish it. Thank you very much, guys, for helping out. And this one was really long again, but... Well, we are having fun taking out all those revolts. And there's another revolt here. What revolt are you? Oh, boy. Boy, howdy. Isn't that great? And we have these guys right there. Ah, I have vassal troops up. Uh, I think we need to stand them down. Because I don't want to miss our opportunities. Invasion of this. Or invasion of that. Invasion of this. Why not? Ah. Because we're in too many wars as it is. They will not allow us. Silly council. 